Well, hi guys, and welcome to another episode of The Wood Not Carpenter. I want to apologize to you for having taken so long between episodes. I was getting back into my painting a little bit, trying some new oil-based or water-based oil paintings. I'll show you what I've been up to. And just been a little bit lazy, but mostly it's just been freezing cold in the shop. I finally got a 240 volt uh, heater installed. You can see it over my shoulder back there, sitting on top of my kiln, um, bringing the temperature up from like 40, 39 degrees here in the shop to a comfortable 67. And I also have a little um, heater, Mr. Heater Buddy, down here in the corner to help circulate the warm air. So it's been really cold out here, but uh, I want to take you through what I've been doing and show you some of the parts. So let me grab the phone and I'll show you what I've been working on. Here's a bit of what I've been talking about. This snow has been on the ground now for a couple of days and before that, the last snowstorm before this one, we had about three inches of snow. And right now the temperature outside the shop is about 36 degrees, gonna be going down into the high 20s tonight. So it's been cold in the shop. This is a short outtake of part of the process I use to manufacture the main joist. Because of the configuration of the wood, I couldn't run it across the table saw with a dado blade, so I just decided to chisel it out. So I made the two vertical cuts first on the table saw. Then I went back and ran it up against the bandsaw to cut that shorter leg out. And then after that was done, I went ahead and chiseled it out till I got to the bottom. What was amazing is that they came out so perfectly. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, but I scored the bottom of the joint from the other side and when I got down to the far end of the wood or the other side of the board, the block just fell out and it was almost perfectly flush across the bottom of the mortise I'm chiseling there. So I was really happy with that. Anyway, here are the parts I've been manufacturing. These are the main joists. I might throw in a couple of out clips uh, during this video so you can just see how they were made. But this was all manufactured with a router and chisel work. Um, they're not 100% perfect, but I think they will work. These are the main shelf joists right here. These are gonna go down into these slots like so on both sides. And then the shelf will ride in this groove here. Um, the locking joists are right here. These are made out of sapili. And they will go into these slots right here. I think I might have to mill these down about another maybe 64th of an inch to get them to go in there but those are gonna be holding the whole unit together. And in the meantime, here are the leg units, which you already saw how those were manufactured. And then over here, uh, this plywood board standing up right here, this board here is the main shelf. And what I'm gonna do before I put this together, I'm gonna to run my router along this edge and do a, a eighth of an inch or, or a quarter inch round over edge on all four of these corners. So that's what's going to happen. I decided to lay the leg units on their side, supported by a block of wood on either end. And then I'm going to see if I can get the main joist positioned in the mortises that I've cut. 
So I'm going to have to make sure they're as square as possible and at the proper distance apart in order for that to work. Okay, this side pressed in fairly easily. You can see it's a little bit raised here because the other end down there is not down into position yet. However, I see that the edge of the leg is about, looks like about a sixteenth of an inch or almost an eighth of an inch proud. And I can't scoot this leg back this way anymore. So that means I'm gonna have to come back and relieve this probably with a chisel or maybe I'll just run it in the bandsaw. I'll find a way to shave that back so that this leg can move back flush with this surface. It's gonna be very important that these two surfaces are flush, otherwise the locky joys won't be able to go down in there. On this end, it looks like the mortise notch I cut out in the leg needs to be a little bit bigger, a 32nd. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to chisel that out because now that the leg unit is together, I can no longer put that on my table saw. The only other alternative is to um, maybe sand down the bottom of the leg a little bit. I guess I can do it that way too. I'll figure something out and get back to you. I have decided to sand from here to the end, maybe take off a 32nd, and then I'm gonna turn this board over and sand the same distance from here to about right here, a 32nd. I think that would be a lot easier than trying to chisel out that mortise on this big heavy um, leg unit here. So that's what I'm going to do to fix that. That should make it fit. And I might have to shave off just a little bit more on this shoulder right here. Maybe another 64th of an inch should do me. Oh, happy day. That worked. I see I still have a little bit of a lip here, but I'm thinking that might be because I don't have it upright yet. But just cutting this shoulder back a little bit there gave me a little bit less overlap there, and I think I can work with that. And this end slipped right in after that little bit of sanding of the upper and lower surfaces. So I'm gonna sand these leg units up. I'm finding, I am finding that there's not much room for error with this workbench because everything has to be perfectly square for everything to go together. So hopefully I did a good enough job in the manufacturing process to get this to work. This end of the second main joist needs the same sanding procedure. This end slipped in nice and snug with no problems, but I need to sand the top surface and then the corresponding bottom surface down here for a few minutes to get that to fit. Then I should be able to get both of those joists in. Okay. Both main joists are in. I'm very happy. I think I'm going to put in one of the locking joists right now, uh, which will keep these ends separated and pushed into their mortises without screws. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. In order to get this locking joist to go in, I shaved off one more 32nd of an inch in the surface planer, and then I ran this edge here right up against the bandsaw blade and took off about 
a 64th of an inch, maybe a, a 32nd, just to widen this space a little bit. And I think it should hammer in now. So let's give that a shot. Okay. After a bit more massaging, removing of a little tiny bit of material, that locking joist is in place and that will hold these main joists at the proper distance apart. Now I'm gonna put in the shelving joists, which should force everything into alignment. I can put the shelf in and put in the other locking joists. Wow, guys, I can't believe it. Stuff is working. This shelving joist took a little persuasion with the hammer to get it to go down in there. But as you can see, it's in, and in combination with the locking joist, it's holding this, these shelving rails at the proper distance. This shelving joist went right in, no problem. There's a little bit of space there, but that's probably a good thing because wood expands and contracts, so it's probably good to have some of that space right there. So, but it's serving its purpose. The next thing I need to do is to slide the shelf unit in along these rails all the way into the other end, and then snap on the locking joist and the bottom part will be done. Amazing. Let me do that. Okay guys, I'm going to slide this shelf in. Hopefully it'll fit. I was going to round over these edges right here with a round over bit, but in order to save time, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed and slide this in like so. Hopefully it won't bite me too much. Maybe I'll get out the hammer and persuade it the rest of the way in. joist on the end. I got about a 16th inch of space right here from the end of the board up against the locking joist. Everything's incredibly stable. I'm very happy. Do a dry test fit with this last locking joist. The shelf is in. Nice and flush. Let me hammer this leg in a little bit. Okay. Right over here. All right. This should just drop in like this. Like it 
needs a little bit more shaved off. We shave a little bit more off of this side right here and then because you can see how I'm just tearing that up. So I'm going to shave about another 30 seconds off of this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and hammer it down. And this pip, pis, pieces here that are being torn up will be hidden behind these shoulders anyway. And that should complete the bottom. Woohoo! Okay, I shaved off a little bit on this side. Still a little, a little blemish right there. But that's going to go down between here. That side should have been right down. Oh, nice and tight. That's it, guys. And what I love about this is just with a little bit of hammer persuasion, I should be able to take this totally apart if I ever have to move to another location. I don't have to lift up the entire bench. Maybe the top will be one piece, but at least this bottom part, I haven't used any nails except for the pegs to hold these leg units in to put this together. So, and it's really solid, guys. This thing must weigh, oh, I can't even lift it. It's solid. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for visiting episode 14 of the Wood Knot Carpenter. I got my wife uh, filming for me right now, guys, but the whole thing is together. Come on up here for a second, honey. These notches here, guys, where I had to relieve the wood here, um, those are gonna be filled in with some nice little sapili blocks to dress those out. The shelving went in surprisingly easy. I do have a little bit of space right here, a little unsquareness, but I'm not sure where that's coming from, a little hammer persuasion might straighten that out. But I am really happy with it, guys. So um, the next time I come, I will have manufactured these cross members that go across here, and we'll start on the top, okay? Thanks for hanging out with me, and again, I'm sorry it took so long to get this episode out. It's just been really cold out here. And now that I have a little shop here, I can come back out and work. So, so long. Thanks for visiting, guys.